capture here. I was thinking of trying something different, but shall we try something different? Normally we just take the night here. We see this fancy move sometimes. My mouse is sticking a bit actually, what's going on? Um, see the fancy move with the knight coming here. <coughs> but when an opponent plays that against me, I think that's a, like a waste of a move. So then I go, go charging in there and basically um, take over the show. Reason being, it's like a move for no reason <coughs> whatsoever. It's not really gaining anything by actually doing that. And this knight has now got space in front of our our pieces on the centre. So going to try it. Let's try it. Those are my defensible rationales as to why I don't do it. It could entice this uh, F pawn to attack the knight. It's not doing that. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra, so I'm not going to stray any further away from that now. I think I'll stick with what we've got. Although he does have two pieces now developed in the centre of the board, which is quite crucial really, isn't it? <clears throat> I'm going to push this pawn here so I can develop my knight. And they've castled. There has to be something said for this... Um, fast playing thing you know it's um i think maybe they're copying too much of what they see online you know with the grandmasters and international masters you know playing these quick games and they think that they can play like them and stuff that it really does spoil the aesthetic beauty of chess so it's come down pawns there bishop we can go and castle potentially. So it's even Stevens at the moment. There's zero increment on this game, so I've got to remember that. Let's just uh, castle. Speed, 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 zooming around going nowhere right, but let's just push on to the bishop here so the pressure of time isn't really going to kick in yet until way down the line so as usual just hoping that they they're making a mistake simple as Bring the bishop out. Tasty, tasty. Take, bring back, bring back. Mm -hmm. Take, 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 bring back, bring back. Um, going to take. Okay, so we've got not issues or anything. It's got bishop here. Could open up the king. <laughs> so he just goes back there. Are we giving him strength? Mm. Could move the knight. Up to there. Could move it here. Bring the knight attacking the bishop if they forget themselves. Sometimes they do. Uh, okay, not today. Sharpshooter. 
coming in for the kill. It's coming in for the kill, but it could be an exchange for an exchange. We could push on, but he's actually attacking my queen. Could bring my queen all the way back, which is not good. Could come here, attacking his pawn, so his knight takes, we take, and then we're on another pawn as well. Let's just bring this up. I think they will take. It's going to be on the rook, so we'll have to put a bit of pressure on there. He's blocking. Ah, well. That might have caused them the game. Let's go here, if he comes through. Comes through, he's more or less trapping his knight his knight won't be able to come back out of there if we bring the rook here so he's uh, not falling for that trap okay I do like my f pawn I do like the feel of that mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. I'm actually going for it So, we know the ilk of that we're going with the rook, obviously, of the player. They're a quick and dirty tactics player. They're fast moving, knee jerk reaction type moves um, for bad position. So, we're going to capture here. So, straight away now they've isolated their pawn in the centre here. So, we can take advantage of that. So to me that's the smallest of advantages, it might not be an advantage in evaluation but it's the smallest of advantages in terms of they've got a split pawn here which is by itself. Could block this off, I could come here and I could come there, Rook could come and go for a bit of a exchange in there. I think I like the exchange in my based on the fact of this <coughs> isolated pawn in the center. It does take. I'm quite surprised that they took actually. But then he is a speed merchant and we're looking to take advantage of that bad position play in terms of the speed that they put into this game. There's, there's really no need to move that fast he's got 12 minutes ok let's develop the knight develop here push onto the oh, we don't really want to do that because he's got those spaces here could push up here um, I think pushing onto his knight getting him out of the way no let's develop the knight first We've got some spaces here, 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 and here. Then we can push onto his knight. Get this king up. It needs to get activated. Yep, so I've got to push onto the knight. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. going for the exchange I think that's really quite good for us because like I said before he's um, got this split pawn it's getting to a pawn ending now <laughs> pawn and king ending sorry so getting the king up he's moving way too fast they cannot expect to get an advantage in this game against me playing like this I have to believe that he cannot in any way shape be doing the best moves moving this quick we've already said we want to get the king up there we've blocked off this pawn here we're trying to use the advantage against this pawn with our pawn majority on this side so now we can attack through here it's going to condense his area down so then it's going to come into that zigzag thing whereby his king is going to have to do a move it doesn't want to do and hopefully we can start taking the pawns off either on this side or on the other side but I'm plumping for this side at the minute 
now they've slowed down. It's too late to slow down. Now it's a timing thing, tempo thing. Must keep the king here. He's going to elevate, move these pawns down here, yeah, one of these pawns. So we can block off. And then we'll get to the Zugzwang where he has to make a move with his king, which he doesn't want to make. He's going for the time tempo win, but we can block that off and then capture. And this is where the fun begins. So it's all to, to all intents and purposes, it's equal. But the opponent has made a bit of an error. Probably if they've taken a bit more time thinking about their move, they may have realized that their king should have moved to the other side. And now his king's gone back, he's going to lose tempo. So we're going to get promotion way in advance of their attempts. So we can just grab here. And it's too late for them now because we can't just zoom and go and get a promotion these pieces are too slow they won't get down there <clears throat> and that's the smallest of advantages smallest smallest key elements to actually get in better position on the board now he's looking to con condense down our king queen sorry so we could just chase the queen around a little bit the king sorry around and just move this pawn up so he can do a merry dance with the pawns just bring this king queen here block that off and go and get promotion with the other the king cannot do anything now at all he can push this pawn here and they've resigned okay so that was the smallest of advantages in terms of looking at position rather than speed.